7.1 My worst exam result Bidianot It's years since I took any exams, but I can still remember feeling sick with fear before each one. Um, I, I was a bit of a nerdy student. I always did my homework and revised hard, so usually I didn't find it too difficult to pass exams. That's why the memory of the one exam I failed makes me shudder to this day. It was my domestic science exam. Um, well, at least that's what they used to call it in those days. It was, in fact, a cookery exam. And who could possibly fail that? I, I know all we ever learned to make in class were ginger biscuits and spaghetti bolognese, but I'm still not sure how I managed to fail. All I can remember is that one minute the fish pie was in my hands, the next it was face down on the floor. Um, I tried to pick up the bits and arrange them in another dish, but it was hopeless and I knew it. I failed miserably, my worst ever result. Ironically, today I am quite a good cook. I just hate making fish pie. Ted Stockton I'm a teacher and um, I think it's good to be able to say to my shocked students, I once got 9% in an exam. That was what I scored in the chemistry exam at the end of my first year at university. My other results weren't much better. I, um, I only just managed to get enough marks overall to allow me to continue to the second year. Actually, the dismal mark was no surprise. I'd had a ball in my first year and neglected my studies. But 9%. <sighs> my tutors expected me to do better than that. The good thing was that I realised that my choice of degree was a big mistake. And I decided to change course and study English literature. A great decision because it resulted in me becoming a teacher. And when I want to warn my students about the dangers of not working hard, I tell them about my 9%. Winston Laurent I wasn't a star pupil, but I was good at taking exams. I was particularly good at maths and physics, and I dreamed of becoming an astronaut. I hoped to be the first black guy on Mars. Failing that, a stockbroker in the city and make millions. <laughs> our maths teacher let us work at our own speed, and by the time I was 14, I was years ahead of the rest of my class. My teacher encouraged me to take the advanced level maths exam at 14, but I was worried about being called a SWAT, so I refused to. I stopped working so hard. Then, when I finally took the exam at 18, I failed miserably. I could no longer look forward to being an astronaut or a stockbroker. <laughs> I studied politics and sociology instead, and finally became a TV news reporter. I love it, but I'd have preferred to walk on Mars. <laughs>